Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. So today we're talking about magnifiers. I'm gonna give you a little bit of information about them and tell you how to choose the right one for you. So I recently got the question about magnifiers uh, from a viewer asking a little bit of information about them and which would be the best one for them. And the thing about magnifiers is there's an infinite number of different kinds. So if you are trying to decide on which magnifier to get, what's gonna be the best one for you, there's a couple things you need to take into consideration. The most important aspect is the magnification. You need to find out what level of magnification you need, what's gonna work the best for you. So one thing you can do is go to an optometrist, a low vision center, Somewhere like where I work here at the Bluegrass Council of the Blind, we have bins full of magnifiers and I've got them all labeled as to the magnification level. And so I can come in and I can pick out ones to show somebody to help them figure out what level of magnification they need. So I usually start out the smallest level of magnification, which incidentally is also going to be the largest styles of magnifiers. These are the kinds, the old Sherlock Holmes style, the big round ones that you're gonna be able to find at um, big box stores like Walmart, Target. Uh, you might even find them at hobby shops like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. These are great, but they tend to be the weakest magnification level. So if that's not strong enough for you, just continue to work your way up. Eventually you will settle on the magnification level that works the best for you. Once you find that, the rest is much easier. So then you decide on the style. Magnifiers come in a couple different categories. You've got handheld magnifiers, uh, desktop magnifiers that just sit directly on the document, on the paper. You've got lighted magnifiers and non-lighted magnifiers, or illuminated and non-illuminated. Then you might also have specialty magnifiers like this stand magnifier. Uh, these are great for being hands-free. You know, people that like to sew or quilt. You can play card games. You can hold it, sit this right in front of you and play, hold your cards underneath there. Lots of great uses for this, but they tend to not be very strong. And we'll come back to the reason why here in a second. Also part of the specialty magnifiers may be page magnifiers. It's the size of a sheet of paper and it's used for magnifying full sheets of paper or pages in a book. Now, I will tell you guys, never get the page magnifiers. They're terrible. They don't work. They use this ridge uh, system to do the magnification and there's just all kinds of glare and distortion and they don't magnify that much. So I really recommend not using page magnifiers ever. Now, something else to consider would be a round magnifier or a square or rectangle magnifier. This is also a personal preference. The rectangle magnifiers work much better for text, reading text, because you have a much wider field of view. The round ones tend to be more compact and uh, can fit in pockets and purses and things like that a little bit easier. Now, one thing very important to remember regarding the level of magnification and the style of the magnifier. As the level of magnification increases, so the strength of the magnifier gets larger, the lens gets smaller. So this one here on my left side uh, is probably a two times magnifi magnification, maybe a one or a two times magnification. This other one here on my right is a 10 times. And that's just the way optics work. Unfortunately, there's no way to get around it. So definitely something to, to remember. If you need a stronger magnifier, you're gonna have to deal with a much smaller lens. So that's why I say that these large magnifiers that you can buy in stores like Walmart or Target, chances are for most of the people watching this video, they're not gonna be strong enough. You're gonna need to go to somewhere like Amazon or Maxi Aids or LSNS uh, to get a quality magnifier that's gonna work the best for you. Now, if you get to the point where you cannot find a magnifier strong enough, uh, say you need a 10 times magnifier, but this lens is just way too small for you. You can't work with it. 
then we recommend you go towards electronic magnification. And the first step would be a small portable digital magnifier. Um, this is my Ruby. I've done a video about it before. It's a five inch screen, works really well. Generally with digital magnifiers, you have like a two inch screen, a three inch screen, five inch, seven inch, 10 inch, 12 inch. Those are the standard sizes for screens. Of course, the larger it gets, the less portable and manageable it tends to be, but you've got a nice big screen that you can magnify. So there's kind of a trade off there. After the size 12, you're getting into the desktop digital magnifiers, the desktop reader, CCTV range of magnifiers. So hopefully that helps give you some information about magnifiers. There's a lot more to it than just what I'm giving here. I mean, you get into diopters and all these things. If you want information about that, you're better off going to like an optometrist. Uh, they're gonna know more about that kind of thing than I do. But hopefully this will get you started in picking and choosing the correct magnifier for you. If you have any questions, guys, let me know in the comments down below. Big thank you to the Bluegrass Council of the Blind for letting me use their space and some of their magnifiers. If you like this video and you found it helpful, be sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and toggle on the bell so you can be alerted whenever I upload a new video. As always guys, Sam with The Blind Life, we'll see you next time. All right, you made it to the end. So check out my most recent video, click right there. Or maybe a video that was generated specifically for you because you're so awesome, right down there. Also be sure to check out The Blind Life Amazon shop, linked down below, where you can find the cool VIP t-shirts. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.